Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel for another video today. Today's grocery haul is going to be a little bit different. I decided to take you guys along with me shopping. I had a few requests for that. So we are at Aldi today. You can see it back there. And I'm going to take you guys in with me. I haven't been in an Aldi for a while. So we're going to go shopping. And then of course I'll show you everything that I got. I also placed a small Walmart order so that, um, I made sure to have the few things like Finley's a two milk, stuff like that. Um, that I can't get at Aldi. So I'll show you everything, of course, when we get home, but let's go ahead and get shopping in Aldi. Looks like they have some different flavored wines that I haven't seen before. They must have like added some since last time I came in here. White Sangria. This one looks cool. Hmm. Some newer things and then they just have some snacks and stuff up here but yeah yeah you can get Kit Kats do you see something you want Kylie I might grab bottle wine oh look oh my favorite Moscato they got a new packaging on definitely grabbing that I haven't had any wine in a while okay there's eight eight okay do they have those freeze dried strawberries you grab one of those right there yep Perfect. One just one. Just one is fine. Okay. Let's do some real grocery shopping. Look at this chocolate bar. Oh my God. <laughs> I've never seen that brand before. Caramel brownie cream. Make sure it doesn't have nuts in it. Nope. Oh, it does have almonds. Darn it. Going back. Oh well. $1.59 for strawberries is not bad at all. Kyle, you want to grab some grapes? Up. Look at these dill pickle bites. I've never seen those. Six pack of di diddly bites. Dilly bites. <laughs> I can't read. Um, they have all these like shots of turmeric, ginger, elderberry. I've never seen those before either. I'm telling you guys, it's been months since I've been here for sure. Kylie, you want to go grab a milk, a red milk down there at the bottom? Go grab it. Go ahead. Some different smoked sausages and stuff here. Bavarian brand wieners. Metabolism shot. Huh, all kinds of stuff. They have some new candle scents out. Coco Co. Black currant and elderberry. And then blood orange persimmon. And then they always have the vanilla one. But I never get that. But those look like all new ones since last time I was here. And they also have cleaner restock so that's great because again the last time I was here what so this is the value leader this is what people voted to say how much money they saved when they got it oh <laughs> look at that fourth of July wreath it's pretty if it wasn't like already almost over so much is that $14.99 that this is the aisle that I love if you guys have watched my other Aldi hauls, you know that. I love to look at what they have out in these aisles. Zombie freeze pop tray. What? Oh, yeah. That pizza. Window air conditioner. Look at that. $129. And Finley screaming at me. Oh, shoes. Like these ladies. Sandals. I'm telling you guys, you can find some awesome stuff. Reusable face masks. Oh, these are like um, cushion covers. I was spying. Whoa, what is that? It's arcade game. Oh, it's like a video game, an arcade game. So these are $22.99. They have Burger Time, Galaxy. What's that one? Dig Dug. Dig Dug? I don't know what that is. That's pretty cool. What's that? Super Yard Color Play Ultimate. Oh, it's like a yard for kids. Create your own bath bombs. I haven't been on this island forever, guys. I'll probably end up buying stuff that I don't need. Here's some bath stuff over here. What was I going to show you? Oh, so they have these cheat day dry shampoo foams. I'm not a dry shampoo fan, but a pool seat and beverage holder. That is pretty cool. 
lots of good stuff. We haven't even gotten to the good area. Oh, hold on one second. Look at this farm stand, cucumber and kale. Oh my gosh, how gorgeous is that? So it's only $4.99? Oh, yep, we're buying this. It smells amazing. They also have a sparkled cupcake. Sparkler cupcake scent. I'm gonna buy this one. I know, I'll pick it up. For sure. Sheet sets. All kinds of stuff in here. Bar stoles for $29. More like toys and stuff over here. What is that? A water gun? Yep. All kinds of stuff. Oh, some reed diffusers. So I'm actually doing a craft where I'm going to make a candle holder out of a Dollar Tree product. So I'll show you guys what this looks like on it when I'm done. I'm hoping to do it this afternoon when we get home. Okay, let's move up to the better part. This is always my favorite part of this aisle because I feel like it's got the really cool stuff, like the like look at these power waters, kind of like Powerade Zero. So it's berry cherry, tropical mango. They're even selling a smoker, an electric smoker for $119. Nerf dog toys. They have everything here. <laughs> like so many things. What? A utility cart. A utility cart. This is like a garden hanging planter. Set. That's pretty. How much is that? $12.99. Not a bad deal on that. Some other garden hanging things. A frosted dog bone for $2.99. Does that have peanut butter in it? Yep. Contains peanut. Oh, well. We have about these ones. These ones look cool, too. Summer dog treats. Contains peanut. Most dog treats do. Yeah, they're hard to find. Here's some cool pool stuff up here. Bunch of balloons that we're not buying. Some water shoes. Oh, a foam part. You put it in like a bath. That's a... Slip inside. Oh, it's a baseball game. Like slip inside, it's $20. Oh, slip inside baseball. Yep. Ladies pajama pants. Those feel pretty cool. Some water shoes. Again, pretty cool. I'm ready for them to put the fall stuff out. <laughs> I'm always ready for fall. What's this up here? Two burner griddle. Oh, that's cool. So you put it on your, that's a good idea for like making breakfast at night and stuff. No, look at those cups. Yeah, those cups are cool. $3.99. Big jousting set. Big Jenga down there. How much is that? $29. Wait, what's no, that? thank you. Okay, here's our buggy getting ready to check out. There's the kids with their candy. I just found this small burger sauce that I'm pretty excited about trying. So yeah, just gonna check out and go pick up all my Okay, order. so we went to Aldi. I spent like ninety dollars, ninety three dollars. Is that what it was? Something like that. Oh, uh, it was ninety four. Ninety four dollars. Bryson says um, there, and now we're waiting in the Walmart pickup spot for our order. I think the Walmart order is only like thirty, thirty five, maybe whatever the minimum was that I had to make. I filled it. So Finley's mad because they are not giving her candy. Hopefully she gets over that, but we're just going to wait for our order, go home, and I will show you everything we got and let you know what our meal plan for next week will be. Yeah, we know, Finley. We hear you. I think she's trying to say candy. <laughs> okay, we're going to wait for our order. Candy! Look at that, guys. <laughs> Isn't that hilarious? I'm not drunk. I'm passing snacks and whooping ass. <laughs> We are back from the grocery store now. Um, I have my Walmart order laid out in front of me and then the Aldi order over there. So I spent, like I mentioned, about 35 at Walmart and then 93 at Aldi. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I got. Um, and then at the end of the video, I'll share with you the meal plan. Hi, Bryson. Okay, I'm gonna flip you around. We'll start with Walmart. Okay, so like I mentioned, the Walmart order is pretty small. I got two of Chris's Gold Peak teas that he likes for this week, one Hawaiian punch for the kids, two things of Finley's A2 milk. I'm so glad they had these in stocks. If they didn't, then I was gonna have to go, I don't know, to a different store. <laughs> um, two of Bo Chris's boxes of saltines that he likes. You guys know he loves these. They're only 79 cents. Can't feed it. 
I didn't order, this isn't what I ordered. I ordered the, I think it's Baby Magic all-in-one, like baby shampoo and wash and everything. And they gave me this Johnson's just shampoo. Um, I don't know. I guess I'll use it, but that's not what I ordered. So then they didn't show me that as a substitution either. But anyway, we need chocolate syrup for chocolate milk and stuff. So I grabbed a big thing of that. So hopefully that'll last us a while. My coffee creamer. And then the last thing I got are just Lunchables for the kids. So as always, the turkey and American and ham and American. And then this week I got the ham for Kyla or for Finley instead of the turkey. So that's everything that I got at Walmart. And that was, I didn't even think it was $40. I think it was like 35 because they had taken off. They were trying to substitute Chris's breakfast burritos for a kind he didn't like. So I denied that substitution. So I really think this is only like 30 30 or $35. So over here I have, excuse me, I have all of the Aldi stuff. Just grabbed a bag of potatoes. You guys saw me grab this in the shop with me part of it. They have a new packaging since the last time I got it. Um, and I haven't had wine in, in, I mean, way before we went to the beach. So it's been a while. Um, a gallon of milk for the other two kids, like their milk. And then I saw these Benner, is it Benner? Tea company, Benner Tea Company, black tea, fresh brew taste, and it's a sweet tea. I don't know. I thought Chris might like these to take to work. So there is six of them. Hopefully he likes those. I think those were like $4, which is a little pricey, but I really just wanted to give him a shot. The kids each asked for a Gatorade. These are 89 cents or are not 89 or 99 cents at Aldi. So one of them picked frost and the other one picked the lemon lime. I grabbed a jar of mayonnaise so that I can make some homemade ranch dressing this I showed in the store. I've never seen this before. It's the Wahlburgers Chef Paul's Wall Sauce. So it says you can use it on burgers, salad, chicken, tater tots, fries, and sandwiches. So that looks good. I think we might try this on like some chicken this week, like grill it or something. I got this farm stand cucumber and kale candle. Look how pretty that is, guys. I'm really, so it's little pieces of cucumber and kale. Kylie wants to smell it. What's it smell like? Uh, cucumber? <laughs> um, so this was only $4.99. I can smell it from here. So hopefully that smells good when it's being burned. That was only $4.99. I grabbed two of the yellow and the yellow rice Spanish style that we like from Aldi. We'll probably have that this week with chicken or something. So first I grabbed these brownies to make on the 4th of July. It's just the chewy fudge brownie mix. And then we were going to add some of these Belgian chocolate chips into it. But then I saw the uh, 4th of July Funfetti ones. So I grabbed the cake mix and the icing as well. So we'll probably make these on the 4th of July and then just throw these in our pantry and have them sometime. These, it said, was new. So it's the Ritz Cheese Crispers. Um, this, like, top part popped open, but the bag wasn't open. So I, it might have just happened in the car. Um, but I guess they're kind of like better cheddars, if you've ever had those. Um, so I'm hoping they're good. They were like $2.99, I think, at Aldi. But I just grabbed them because we wanted to try them. Two boxes of the Strawberry Kiwi um, juice boxes. These are only like $1.75 a piece there. So that's cheaper than getting them like pretty much anywhere else. I grabbed a bag of French fries. We are gonna grill these actually. These all American seasoned beef patties with cheddar cheese. This is there's six of them. We're gonna grill these on Sunday in the fourth. On the third, so tomorrow, Saturday, we're going to a little fair and fireworks and stuff. So Sunday we'll probably be at home most of the day. So I figured we'd grill. So we're gonna grill these, have some fries, probably some corn on the cob and just enjoy. We live relatively close to an area where they set off fireworks. So we'll probably be able to see some from home. So that's our plan for Sunday. And these looked really good. I had never seen these Cattleman's ones, Cattleman's Ranch. Hopefully they're good. And hopefully they don't like fall apart on the grill since they have cheese in them. We'll see. I didn't see any yogurt for Kylie and Finley, like kids yogurt. So I just got a few of these like, you know, normal original ones. So I got two strawberry and two banana strawberry. A big thing of my favorite spring leaf lettuce. Two things of strawberries. I think I showed you in the store that these were only like $1.59 each, which is a good. Two things of turkey sticks. So we, I've been eating these a lot when I'm out working. Um, they're just quick and easy like little lunches and the kids have been taking the lunch bowl. So grabbed a couple of those. 
And then all of my kids like these. They're a little expensive. They're like $3.99, I think, for this little bag of freeze dried strawberries. Um, so I let them grit one this time. A thing of green grapes, green peppers, just because that's literally, I buy it every time, even if we don't <laughs> plan a meal with them, we will eat them. A bunch of bananas, and then these are the brioche buns that I picked to have with those burgers on Sunday. And that is everything that I got at Aldi, minus the um, Kit Kats and the Hershey bars that you guys saw Kylie and Bryson pick up. They put those in the fridge already because they wanted, they were melting. So like I said, I spent $93 at Aldi and then 35 at Walmart. So I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys know what my meal plan is now. So this week we're mostly eating stuff out of the freezer. It's almost time for another Costco haul. Stay on the lookout for like a beginning of July, um, like food pantry storage update to let you guys kind of know where I am before we head out to Costco. But for the week, we are going to be using that spring leaf lettuce and having chicken salads one night. So we need Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So five before I go to the grocery store again. Um, so we are gonna have those burgers that we're gonna grill on Sunday chicken salads. We're going to use that yellow Spanish rice and have some chicken in it. Um, I have some like queso we'll stir in and probably some of the green peppers and make like a Hispanic chicken rice meal. So that's three. Um, then we have some pork roasts or tenderloins that we still haven't used from Costco. We're going to make those one night with some potatoes. That's why I got that bag of potatoes. And then on the fifth night, we will probably just have frozen pizza. We still have some of those Costco pizzas and Chris has a meeting on Wednesday. Emily's making a mess over there. And this is actually the first time that he has to go in for a meeting since COVID started. They've been doing them via Zoom, and this is the first time he has to go in. So we're gonna have frozen pizzas that night because I think it's gonna, Finley, I think it's gonna throw me through for a loop. Okay, so that's everything. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this little different spin on a cost, or not Costco. I got Costco on my brain. Um, on a grocery haul, if you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys on Wednesday. I'm hoping that I will have my food storage pantry tour beginning of the month thing up for you guys on Wednesday. So stay on the lookout for that and I'll see you then. Have a great day, guys. Bye. Without me, I bet that you can get sleep in the bed, lying awake.